Hi, my name's Kenny Piddock. I'm an artist and I like to draw, uh, paint and make things out of clay. The Neighbourhood Justice Centre would like to acknowledge the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation, who are the traditional custodians of the land on which we meet today and pay respects to their elders, both past, present and emerging. The Neighbourhood Justice Centre would also like to pay respects to the Aboriginal people of other lands present with us today and to their elders, both past and present. So, today we're going to do some drawings of ice cream. To start with, we're going to make a little book to do our drawings in. All you'll need is a piece of paper, it can be any size, but I'll be using A3. Uh, also, coloured pencils or textures, just whatever you have around the house. And a pair of scissors as well. To begin, you take your piece of paper and you fold it in half. Run your finger along the fold so that you get a nice crease. Now you take this piece of paper and fold it in half again. Okay, so now it is a quarter of the size it started with. And now, one more time, we'll fold it in half again. So it should look something like this. And that's the size that it's going to be. Uh, at this point, you unfold it once and unfold it twice. And you take your pair of scissors and you cut along the fold on the crease up until the center. Now, fold it out so like this. So you should have a diamond. And the last bit is to push it together like that and then fold it together like that. And now you should have a six page book. Okay, on the front of the book, we're going to write um, six new flavors of ice cream. You can write it any way you like. I'm gonna use sort of bubble letters. So for these drawings, we're going to think about new flavors of ice cream that we might like to try. Maybe you want to try to make an ice cream that looks like a tree and the leaves are mint and the trunk is chocolate. Okay, six new flavors of ice cream. Let's get started on flavor one. For our first ice cream, I think we're going to do uh, a sort of popsicle or a paddle pop type of ice cream. You might want to think about whether or not it's had a bite out of it. I think mine is going to have a big bite out of it. So you draw in some teeth marks. Okay, so it should look something like this. And now we have to think about what flavor we'd like it to be. I think I'd like mine to be pumpkin. So I'm going to use an orange and colour it in. Now I'll colour in the stick. What do you reckon, would a pumpkin ice cream be pretty yummy? Maybe. So this is a pumpkin popsicle with a bite out of it. For our next ice cream, it's going to be in an ice cream cone. So I'll start by drawing the cone. This is going to be double scoop. And then you might want to draw some lines on the cone, a bit of a diagonal one way, and then a diagonal the other way. And you might even want to do some wobbly lines to look like the ice cream might even fall off the cone. Like that. Now we have to think about what flavour we'd like this to be. I think I'm going to make mine to go next to my pumpkin ice cream, a cauliflower ice cream. Because cauliflower is one of my favourite vegetables. You might want your flavour to be one of your favourite vegetables.
Okay. Cauliflower cone. So, we've done a cone and we've done a popsicle. Our next way of eating ice cream is going to be out of a bowl. Um, so I'm going to draw the bowl first. This is a side-on view of a bowl. You might want to draw it from the top. Um, but I'm going to draw it from the side and then I'm going to draw the table that it's on. And this is going to be a stripy bowl. Is the best kind of ice cream bowl is a stripy one. Um, and there's the ice cream in the bowl, and I might even draw a spoon to eat it with. Okay, so it should look something like that. And now, what flavor? Will I make this one? Broccoli, I think. All of my ice creams today are gonna be vegetables. So because it's broccoli, I'm gonna use a nice broccoli colored pencil. And I might make the stripes on the bowl blue. And I'll colour in the spoon silver. And I think I would eat this ice cream at night time, my favourite time to eat ice cream. So I'm going to draw some stars in the sky. You might like to draw some stars in your sky. Or if you prefer to eat ice cream in the daytime, you might draw a big sun or some clouds. And then I'm just going to write the name of the flavour down the bottom. So this one is a bowl of broccoli balls. Okay, so what's the next one we might like to draw? Another fun way of eating ice cream is in an ice cream sundae. So we'll start by drawing the funny shaped glass that you eat a sundae in. So you kind of just draw a funny squiggly line on one side and then try and draw the same shape on the other side. A few of these lines like this. One of them. And now... Two of them and a little cherry on the top. And maybe a straw coming out. Some topping. Now I've got to pick what flavour we want this to be. I think this is going to be mashed potato. Okay. So I'm going to colour the potato in yellow. And something that goes really well with potato is gravy. So I'm going to Give my potato ice cream a gravy sauce. What do you think? Would you eat potato ice cream? Um, I'll colour in the straw. Colour in the cherry. I might even draw a tablecloth. This is fancy. Uh, 
you might like to draw a friend who you're sharing the ice cream with. Um, maybe I'm sharing it with a puppy. Who are you sharing your ice cream sundae with? Um, so this is mashed potato sundae with gravy sauce. Okay, we're on to our last page now. So for my second last ice cream, I'm going to draw a bit like this one in a little cup. And then start with the lip of the cup. Like that. This cup's got triangles on it, so I'll do triangles as well. And then ice cream and a spoon coming out. I've got to think about what flavour to make it now. Um, I'll start by colouring in the cup while I think about what flavour to make it. Um, colour in the spoon. And to keep in line with my vegetable theme, this is going to be cabbage ice cream. Now I'm not the biggest fan of cabbage, so this ice cream isn't actually for me. But do you know who loves cabbage? Snails. So I'm going to draw a snail on top of the spoon. He's got a big smile because he's a it's a very happy snail. So that's a cabbage cup. The friendly snail about to eat some delicious cabbage ice cream. And for our last ice cream. Uh, I'm going to draw a big two litre tub, the kind you might get at the shops. Now I'm going to colour the tub. Uh, Colour the tub blue. Um, do some shading to give it a bit of three dimension. So what flavour should this one be? I think tomato. So I'll use a red pencil. And I might even get a texture and draw in a few little little tomato bits, some of the seeds. Uh, I might give it a green tablecloth. Contrast with the red tomato ice cream. So this is a two litre tub of tangy tomato. And there we go, we've finished our book. So, I'll show you mine. It goes, pumpkin popsicle, cauliflower cone, bowl of broccoli balls, mashed potato sundae with gravy sauce, cabbage cup, and two litre tub of tangy tomato. Which would you like to eat the most? I think I would like to try Maybe the tangy tomato would be nice. And the one I'd like the least, I think, is the cabbage cup. Which of your ice creams do you think is the yummiest? And which would you maybe not want to eat? 
Well, we've had a lot of fun here today. Uh, thank you so much for drawing along and please feel free to send in the drawings that you've done to the Neighbourhood Justice Centre as we'd love to see them. Um, I hope you have a really nice rest of the day and look forward to drawing again soon. Bye.